hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified when i drop the next update on i do stay tuned on today's episode tamvia sits with some guests while ahil comes and says that he would come in the evening the guest teased his marriage and his wife, and when he gets tensed, they scold him teasingly for being shy. Tanvi smiles. Latif brings a necklace to Sanam and asks her to wear and receive Tanvi's guest downstairs. Why she questions if this is really necessary. Latif asks her to do as Tanvi said as she is waiting for her. As Sanam descends, I hear his mesmerized looking at her. He pretends to be extremely romantic to her and has fun when she is at discomfort with him holding her hand. The guests are amused. He asks her to escort him outside and Sanam complies. The guests wish the couple luck and all the love in the world. Out of hearing range, Sanam asks him not to get too close as there is no lawyer to check on them and hence asks him to stop the drama. Ahil says that he doesn't want mouth chattering against her and asks her to continue with drama and kisses her on the palm much to her disgust. As he leaves, she too refers to him as bad and rubs his hand hardly that it pains him in a similar manner that he had done to her and asked him to take care of himself and call when he reaches. He too pinches her cheek to show love but extra hard so that it pains her. She is irritated. Ahil leaves. Salam overhears the guest gushing about their love and Tamvi talking about how lovable and amiable she is. The guest says that she too is very loving towards Sanam and asks what the girl brings from her house. Tamvi and Sanam are tensed. Tamvi clarifies that she doesn't have parents but have been brought up by her body ami. As Sanam is attending to the guest, she is tensed and hot when the guests express their horror at her being an orphan in front of Tamvi and that she having no clue about her parents at all and her background and school Tanvi for marrying a here with a girl like this. Tanvi tries to clarify but stops when Sanam starts speaking. Sanam says that she does know about her parents. They insistently ask her to tell them. Sanam says that her parents used to stay in Bhopal and got married here and her father had a huge business but her parents died when she was very young and starts saying their names. Tanvi is oblivious about what she's about to say and her connection to her parents. She's curious and tensed. Just then her phone rings and Sanam picks up, seeing that it's from the hospital. She attends to it and says that she would have to leave for the hospital right away. Tanvi allows and asks her to call if she needs any help. Sanam leaves. While Haya is packing, Rahat and Munisa comes in. Rahat asks her to say it. Munisa apologizes for what she said and asks her not to misunderstand what she said that her staying here doesn't bother her at all, that she can stay as long as she wants, that if she goes, she would feel that Haya didn't forgive her and leaves densely. Rahat and Haya are tense too. Haya eyes Rahat overwhelmed with emotions, saying that he shouldn't have done this. Rahat says that he won't hear anything and asks her to please stay back for his sake at least. She eyes him emotionally and then finally complies, getting him happy. He says that she can't go anywhere as he wants her to meet someone special and that shall be a surprise. He leaves while she eyes him. Ahil is lost in the office when Rehan comes in with official work. Ahil notices him with a scrutinizing manner, remembering Rehan's equation with love with Sanam and how he came in between them. Rehan continues nonchalantly and notices this and excuses himself but Ahil stops him saying that he wants to talk to him. Rehan stays back. Ahil comes up to him and then hesitantly says that in the past few days, he had never imagined that things and life would change so much, that he didn't want this at all and wants Rehan to believe it, that he has realized that Rehan is under a shock due to this marriage. Rehan turns and says that he doesn't want to talk about it. Ahil tries to talk but Rehan says that what's happening is for the benefit of everyone and that he has full faith on Ahil. Ahil says that he knows that he is in pain, but Rehan stops him yet again. Ahil lets go of the topic. Rehan asks him what he wants him to say, that nothing is okay and what happened was wrong and shouldn't have happened, and that these talks are futile as what's done can't be undone, and that this is their life, his destiny. Ahil is shocked while Ahil leaves in a huff. 
Ayo says that Rehan thinks that time would heal his wounds, but some wounds are destined to be healed. Outside, Rehan thinks that I heal, blames himself for others, not realizing that he is just a pawn in Tanvi's game and is disturbed. Sanam and Haya wait anxiously outside Dilchard's room. The nurse comes out and tells Sanam and Haya that Dilchard would take some time to come to her senses. Sanam tells it to Haya. Haya asks if she's okay. Sanam asks why. Haya asks how she's coping with this forceful marriage. Sanam lies that she is very happy and that the marriage was in a haste and everything is okay now and praises Tanvi and her noble nature. Haya asks about her husband. Sanam remembers Ahil's remark and his rude behavior towards her, but still lies that he loves her very much and cares for her, and asks Haya not to care for her and assures that Tilchard would be fine soon. Sanam is tensed as she hugs Haya. When Haya is walking on the road with an umbrella, trying to hail a cab and sights a boulder, she decides to move it away. She gets down to doing it. Just then, a person rides on the motorbike in huge speed in a stylish and heroic manner in the rain, skirting dirt and mud all over her. As she stands shocked after she doesn't respond to his repeated beeps, the biker in a bid to save her to skids and takes off his helmet in anger. He comes to her and asks if she's deaf and all. She vents out her anger and disgust by signaling. They have a signal spot and Haya storms ahead, giving one, one, one last angry look at him. The man too is angry. Ahio comes home to find the lawyer with Tanvi, who has the paper ready for his and Sanam's signature. Tanvi says that she will be relieved once the property goes rightfully to her heel. Sanam comes and sits down beside Ahio on his and Tanvi's insistence. Tanvi suggests that they should go to the property to view it along with the lawyer. Ahio asks her not to worry as he would go. Tanvi distracts him saying that he needs to spend time with his wife and that she would do this herself and insists when Ahio tries to talk her out of it. The lawyer asks Ahio to sign his name after writing right below his father's name. He is tensed hearing the mention of his father. Sanam notices that Ahio is tensed as he remembers his haunting memories of childhood and is unable to compose himself and signs the papers. While Sanam is tensed, he finally gets to signing. Ahio signs amidst most, much tension and then excuses himself, surprising Sanam. The lawyer asks Sanam of her details, and she is about to tell of her father's name when Tanvi brought in, asking about the list of the properties listed under their name. The lawyer gets busy with her while Tanvi asks Sanam to fill the form herself. She signs her father's name as Asad Ahmad Khan, not knowing what Tanvi had done to her parents. Tanvi smiles as Sanam says that it's all done. She asks the lawyer if any other formalities are left, and when she denies, she asks if they can leave then. Tanvi begins to leave with the lawyer, asking Sanam to take care of the house, and gives her the keys, saying that she has to handle everything very soon. Sanam is shocked but still complies. As they all come out, the same Pia Baba again tells Tanvi to give her evils to him. She gets tense while Sanam is shocked. She asks the Pia Baba what he wants. He says to Tanvi that her death is very near. Tanvi is irritated while he says that her past would very soon confront her for balancing of what she did and that none can save her, that none can save her, that she has done wrong and now it's her time to be punished. She calls for security and is seated in the car and drives off with the lawyer while he continues to rant that none can save her. The guards try to throw him out. Sanam is boggled and surprised. The Baba turns around and comes to Sanam. The same Pia Baba who had haunted Tanvi about her fate scares Sanam too as he tells her despite being restrained by security guards that he can see clearly in her eyes that her life is going to go topsy Tovi in the near future and that she would get to know a shattering truth that would change her life forever and shock her to the core. She's shocked to hear this and rushes inside while he is thrown out. She wonders who this was and why he was talking like this and is very tensed. Later in the night, Ahil is tensed but composes himself when he finds Tanam coming in with an extra blanket. He makes space for her and she sits and then lies down draping her own blanket over herself. She pretends to ignore he pretends to ignore her but actually has his eyes on every move of hers while she too is conscious of his gaze. 
They played this hide and seek for some time while she falls asleep and then he dozes off too. But it turns out that she was just pretending to be asleep until they both finally doze off. In the middle of the night, I hear childhood memories of her father ruthlessly beating him, awaken and haunt him, and it turns not nightmarish for him as he starts screaming incoherently that he doesn't want to be beaten. This week, and I'm all puzzled. She touches her heel and asks if he's okay. He immediately grabs on her, asking her to hold him while he seeks solace in her grabs and lap, shocking and boggling Sanam to the core. She confronts him that there is no one and asks him to, to not be scared while he continues ranting that she shouldn't leave him almost childishly. He falls asleep again but doesn't let go of her hands grab as she is boggled as to what happened to him suddenly that caused him to be scared so much. She drapes his blanket around him and lies awake herself so that he has a peaceful sleep. As the night passes away and day downs, on Sanam puts him slowly on the pillow, but he clutches at her dripper tightly, and she tries slowly to take it out of his grabs, but he clutches at it more tightly. As Sanam gives a jerk, a heel finally wakes up and finds Sanam reclining on him. They both compose themselves while Sanam Thank you guys for watching today's episode on I2. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.